Now from Coors Field at the foot of the Rocky Mountains in Denver, Colorado, we've got baseball on the show. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates going up against the Colorado Rockies. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, just about set to go. Getting the nod on the mound, Antonio Senzatella. What's the word on him? Well, Luke, something of interest to me is that this guy's really struggled when working out of the stretch, pitching with runners in scoring position. So the key for him is to attack hitters, try to get ahead in the count, and limit allowing oh, runners on base. If he can do that, I think that will help him to avoid those situations. Now, at some point, he's going to have to deal with them. And I think it's just one of those mental things that he's going to have to overcome. And a pitch. Key Brian Hayes in the box here. Let's that one, one go for a ball. No the wind of the pitch. That's ball. down and in. Ice. Right through there for a strike. Two one. Two one now. Ball. Misses no. just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Oh. And that one clips the corner. Oh, Righty delivers. Gets a piece and stays alive. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Jones on the run towards the line. Couldn't get to it before it dropped foul. 3 2 on the way. That's towards center. Bryant trying to get there. One down. Here's a Pirates lineup now. At the very bottom, hitting ninth, Nick Gonzalez. And Boog, he's a fun at bat to watch. I mean, definitely a threat whenever he's got that bat in his hands. But for me, it's it's all about the mechanics. They're so sound. And when he gets his foot down on time and starts his swing, so much consistency. That bat stays in the zone for a long time, and he squares up the baseball a lot. Michael A. Taylor, the next to hit, takes one ball on. And that should be extra bases. Taylor races for second. And that's a double. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch to play lately. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bob with so many positives that led to that knock. Brian Reynolds here. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Line drive. Come on. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Here's O'Neill Cruz. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. And that one hammered back there. And it one ups the wall. And they strike first as they take a 1 0 lead. And he's got himself a triple. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Even though center fielders are amazing at tracking down balls these days, there's still a lot of room out there. And it's a big field. So if you hammer one to center like that, there's a decent chance you're picking up extra bases. with a man at third. To the plate now for Pittsburgh is the D.H. Ah. No ball. One strike. On the ground, right side. 
to first. Even. They limit the damage here. But they do get on the board in the inning on this run scored triple. It's now 1 0. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Coors Field. And on the mound in this one, Jared Jones. Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to find a way to limit the base runners, put his team in a position to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy's a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. And the batter will be the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Hit hard. Shoot the extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And he'll make it safely for a leadoff double in the bottom of the first. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out flying. He ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Now it's Charlie Blackman. I'm liking what I've seen from him at the dish lately. Working on a five game hitting streak. Man at second. Strike two. Well, you can't expect to get a great pitch to hit with an open base and a runner on second. He's going to have to really tighten up his sights here. Make sure that he can barrel up the ball. At the belt and five. There's a swing and a drive. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Tying run is in to score from second. It's 1-1. One -one. Well, we'll start over again. All tied up. Nice line drive with a full side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Nolan Jones stands in now, looks at that one inside. Not even close there. And the count is 2-0. Oh. And there's a ball. Singy, maybe some nerves getting the best of him in the first? Well, it's hard to know exactly if it's nerves or not, but he just doesn't have it right now. Those hitters on the other side, they're going to say it's nerves and use that as a competitive edge to try to jump on him even more. Yeah, there's ball four. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the pass, and it's an issue once again early on. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Homer in the ball game yesterday afternoon. Tag the pitcher with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're ah. looking for a little more urgency out there. One ball. One, One run across in the frame so far. Here in the second game of the series. This one driven. Deep center field on its way. His oh, no. 14th of the year. And they take the lead. It's 4-1. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Now it's Elias Diaz. Bounce to the right. Slings the first. Out. Finally gets the first out that here on the grounder. It. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. And a big factor for them in recent games, Ryan McMahon. And Boog, he's a big time run producer for these guys, man. Leading the team in homers, runs batted in, doing damage on the regular, man. Making opposing pitchers just sweat out there. It's kind of fun to watch. Get ready for a show when he steps into the box. Chris ah. Bryant stands in here. Tried to hold oh, back his swing there, but went around. One out, base is empty. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward.
swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. Reynolds ranging back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Well, at this pace, he's not going to be in this game for very long. But he's got to find a way to shake it off. Keep it isolated in one inning. Come back out. You can throw up a bunch of zeros and save that bullpen. Now the left fielder, Sean Bouchard. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. And the pitch is in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Two out, space is empty. Late on that fastball. Cold night tonight, Boog, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they are creeping into my mind right now. Joe makes the play, and that's the third out. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now a 4-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. And we're back. And now the first baseman, Connor first Joe. Season, number two, Connor Joe, 31 Joe. years old, usually in left, but today he's starting at first. The pitch. Line drive to short and caught. That at bat is a positive sign, even though it probably doesn't feel like it. He hit the ball hard, but it doesn't always work out in your favor. Sometimes a defender is there to make a play. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Jack Sawinski. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Warning track. Gigantic blast. It's 4 2. He absolutely feasts on right handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself at bat after at bat. He's that confident. was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay one down up next for the Pirates Henry Davis no, missed with a changeup and it's one and oh The Pirates down by a pair here at the top of the second. Down the line. And that's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Ripped on a line. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. And he's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Well deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Here's the second baseman, Nick Gonzalez. He's been doing a good job knocking in his teammates. More than an RBI per game over his last 10. One out and a runner at second. That one the other way. Two down. Now that third paper, he brought on Hayes. Now batting key Brian Hayes. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the All Star game and have a Gold Glove over to first. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. 
But the Bucks get one back on the solo home run. It's now 4-2. You're dialed into the show. Bottom of the inning. So in now for Colorado, Brendan Rodgers. The pitch. Ball and that's inside. off the inside edge. And that is ball one. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff in the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always One obvious more. what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. One ball. Two Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. center and that should be extra bases makes the turn and heads for second and he's got a leadoff double love how he let that man travel trusted his hands nice job of going the other way Now here's a Lowry's Montero. In for a strike. 0-1. Oh, one. Oh, one. And there's a foul ball. Man at second. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. And now the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar, led off this game with a double. Line drive. Pulls it down, and they're two away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're on the plate. Here's Charlie Blackman. Doubled his first time up. Sliced hard, but foul. Left-hand batter waits. Fouled off. He was late. Pitch misses there, and it's one and two. And down on strikes. And that is that. So one left for Colorado as they can't add to their 4-2 lead. All set for the start of the inning. And now the right fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Michael A. Taylor. And a pitch. Rip to third. One up, one down. The left fielder, number 10, Brian Reynolds. Next to hit, Brian Reynolds. He's 0 for 1. And a foul ball. The Rockies leading by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Fastball yep. for a strike. 0 oh and 2. Oh, well, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's Ball. not worried if he gets to an 0 oh 2 count. Here's a 1 2. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Ball. 
And that one popped to short. Tovar settles under it. Snags it for the second out. That was a good hard fastball with some nice ride up in the zone right there. Hitter looked like he was on it, but I think that velocity at the end just beat him. Instead of a line drive or something hit deep, it's a pop up and an easy out for the defense. That one ripped. Bryant reaching back towards the wall. To the running track, makes the catch. Offense held a check there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Rockies four and the Pirates two. There's a strange wind blowing. It's coming back around. Back here in Denver. Here now here's Nolan off off. Jones. The right field. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Jones back to work. Been a rough no. start on the mound for this guy. This third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. And that one is lifted in the air. Pulls it in on the run. And a quick out number one. The third base is number 24. Ryan. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan McMahon. He's already homered in this game. Outside low. Ball one. One ball. No strike. To the right side. Over to Joe. Out. Two away. The catcher. Number 35. Diaz. Two outs. Base is empty. Here's the catcher. Elias Diaz. Grounded out his first time. That's yep. in for a strike. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. And the righty deals. Oh. And that skips in the dirt. Pitch misses there. It's two and two. Way inside, and that hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. Fly to left his first time. Slice down the right side. Kicks and deals. Just missed. Diaz off of first with two away. And that is in for a strike. Going to count one and two. Two outs. Stays alive. The pitch. Just missed. It's a good take. That Look one down. misses, and it's three and two. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Here comes a three two. Right side, hard hit. Throws the first in time. Ryan out on the play. That ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left. Three innings complete. It's the Rockies four and the Pirates two. New inning getting started at the plate for Pittsburgh, number 19. The wide to kick the pitch. Ball on there. You know, these Pirates just haven't produced as many competitive at bats as I'd like to see in this one. They're swinging early, being aggressive, but one or two pitches later, the at bat is over. That's not going to cut it if it's not resulting in hit. So they might want to be a little more selective up there. The first base is number two. Now at the plate, yeah, Connor yeah. Joe. He's over one. Yeah. 
Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Bouchard makes the catch. Two down. Now that the center field. Jack. Two outs, base is empty. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. He's already homered here in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Ball to strike. The pitch. That one to first. Montero. He takes it himself He's to the out. bag, and that'll do it. And one, two, three, go the Pirates. They trail it here, four to two. It ain't no surprise. A full moon sits in the sky. You better watch your... And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go, bottom four. So in now for Colorado, Sean Bouchard. Line of the pitch. Foul ball there. All these Rockies doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of no, them. Pitch count ball. is pretty high, and they've played it four ball. runs already. So I think it's safe to say their game plan is working out pretty well right now. Rip to short, snagged on a bounce. Now the throw to first on the run. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. So they forced the starter no to put in a lot of work, and they've been able to Second get to him for some man. runs. And hopefully that bullpen phone is working today. Now it's Brendan Rodgers, doubled in his first A.B. Inside just missed. Bases empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. On the ground. He steps on the bag, two up, two down. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And Lowry is Montero digging in for the Rockies. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Up and in, and that's ball one. One ball, no strike. Fought off foul. Two down, nobody on. And ball another ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth Ooh. and perception. He Two knew ball. right away Two it strike. was an off-speed pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. This looks like extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he'll pull in there with a stand-up double. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you just want to get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. Right through there for a strike. No ball. One Runner strike. at second, two down. The shortstop takes the ball. Ball. And that's inside. off the inside edge. And it's two and one. And this Three is one. inside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, two. showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3 one count. And on second, two down. And that one lifted in the air center field. It gets down a base hit. The run 
comes in from second. It's 5-2. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make a pay. Two outs, runner at first. There's Chuck Nasty. One for two with an RBI double back in the first. No. And that's off the inside edge. One, oh. One and oh. Tobar off of first with two away. Swung on, popped up left side. Hayes under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. So they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's 5-2. Back here at Coors Field, we go to the top of the fifth. Here's the Pirates catcher now, Henry Davis. Here comes a pitch. In the air, right field, under it. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. The bat, the second base. Nick Gonzalez, the next Pirate to hit. 0 for 1 so far. Gonzalez goes 5 feet 9 inches, 24 years old. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Just off the inside edge. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Hit hard, base hit! And now the lineup turns over with one away. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. The Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. One ball. Hayes, no the next strike. to hit, takes outside. The Rockies leading by three here in the second game of the series. Next offering upstairs. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. That one's spoiled, and we count now two and one. And another ball. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. And that's, that's ball, the ball. Take your bait. Michael A. Taylor will hit next. I'm curious how he decides to attack on the mound. This guy at the plate has been great hitting under pressure this year. Right through there for a strike. There was a high velocity fastball in the zone. I think a little frustration from walking the previous hitter. He's got good stuff. Pitch inside the zone and trust it. Heel one and a foul ball. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Oh, and two now. Got a good eye there. Well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0-2 count. Excellent job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. Good and two. another ball. Two on, one out. That okay. one misses, and that's ball three. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Right-hander deals. 
puts it in the air out towards left center. Bryant trying to get there. He's got it. Ronnie tags it second, and he's up to third safely with two gone. Now it's the switch hitting yeah, outfielder, Brian Reynolds. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone. That's a base hit, run scores. to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup hitter O'Neill Cruz and that is in for a strike oh, going along a shortstop takes the ball two on two outs this one trail right center field home run is 12th of the season and that's how they take the lead it's six five well the guy's got a real hard fastball you can't over swing all you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot if you do he supplies the power and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. So two down. Next is the designated ah. hitter. out get as much as you can give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one two outs this one high in the air to left center Brian sizing this one up he's got it and that'll end the inning cannonball coming and the whole team down to run you're watching Pirates baseball on the show Pittsburgh We're back. Where John Shelby with Where my buddy Rob Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bob Fowler, Nolan Jones. And a pitch. Ball. And takes low for ball one. Right Hurt through ball. there for a strike. Kicks and fires. Swings and misses. And a count. One ball. One and two. two Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. So next will be the four hole hit for the Rockies. Ryan McMahon. One for two. That's off the inside edge. Ball one. The Pirates leading by a run. Last half of inning number five. Bounce to the right side. On to first. Ah. Home half of the fifth inning moving along. Two quick outs. Oh, yeah. 
Elias Diaz digging in for the Rockies. And ball one. Fastball almost got him there. Straightened him up a little bit. Now time called. Pitching coach coming out for a meeting as two relievers continue to throw in the bullpen. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Jared Jones done for the night, and as he heads off, we'll step aside for a minute. Back with the new pitcher after this break. Domingo Herman gets the call from the pen, and he's been hit pretty hard at times this year, so he's looking for better. Right now, giving up more than a hit per inning. And he deals. And there's the strike. And he pumps it a strike. Two ball, two strike. Two down, nobody on. To the right side. He takes it himself Out. to the bag, and that'll do it. No runs, no hits, no errors. Five innings complete. It's the Pirates six, and the Rockies five. We're back, and they make a change to start the six. The new pitcher, Jake Bird. And compared to a lot of other relievers, strikeouts have not been a big weapon for him this year, so the defense should be active. Here's the center fielder, Jack Sawinski. And the pitch. Swing it a foul straight back. You know, these Pirates, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They have five extra base hits on the stat sheet so ah. far, and that tells me they're seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well. And the 0-2. That's Just bad. missed. With all those extra base hits, it's easy to think we're going to see that trend continue the rest of the game. They seem to be really locked in at the plate. Got him One out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Henry Davis digs in now. First pitch misses. One ball, no strike. Bounce to the left side. And foul ball. Outside, two and two. Down, base is empty. And oh, that's down. downstairs and outside. Push Struck three. him out looking. Now that Second Nick Gonzalez Nick. now at the plate. Gonzalez. Gonzalez having a lot more success on the road this season. There's He's a strike. Right. Ready. 
right through there for a strike. 0-2 Cal, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off speed oh. away. And there's a ball. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. And it's a three up, three down inning. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Six. The line and the pitch. And that one fouled off. And the 0 1. In the air to left center. Reynolds trying to get there. Makes the grab. Then there's one down. Sean Bouchard will hit next. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Home team down a run here in the bottom of the sixth. On the ground to the left. Into the outfield base hit. Brendan Rodgers digging in for the Rockies. Rodgers having more success against left-handed pitching this season, as might be expected. The throw, tag, and he's out. Well, that's just a good baseball play right there. I mean, pretty good jump off the pitcher, I'd say, and good catch and throw by the catcher. And I think if you did that ten times, half the time the guy might be safe, the other half probably out. Two down, nobody on. Here in the second game of the series. And fouled off. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. Taylor coming on. But the second baseman calls him off. And that'll do it. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Tyler Kinley. Tyler. Power slider guy, boy. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement, so it's tough to pick up. So the Pirates batting order turns over. Keep Ryan Hayes getting ready to hit. And a pitch. And he chases that one below the zone. No oh, man, one 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some pitchers. In the air, pretty deep out to center field. Ryan on a dead sprint. Snags it on the run. Going up and down. So up next, Michael A. Taylor. One for three. center field that's back that's down one hops off the wall he's in with a double and that's his second double of the night didn't take long to get a result for that at now bat challenge him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone he was clearly ready to jump all over it and it's second with one away and now Brian Reynolds RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Rounds third, headed for the plate. Now he stops, and he's able to get back into third. 
That's back to back singles for him. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield. And took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. the shortstop at the play. O'Neill Cruz, certainly a factor in this one thanks to his three-run blast back in the fifth. Well, definitely one of the most impactful swings of the game. A big reason why they're working with the lead and looking to add to it right here, boo. And that one fouled off. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Missed with a changeup. And one and one. Going to lay off that pitch down. Swings oh. over the top of that one. Good pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch. It's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. In the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff for base hit. Now the base is loaded. Big opportunity for them to break this game open. So base is loaded with one away. Now it's the DH. And it's 1-0. Oh. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Center field. Sizes this one up. He's got it. Runners tagging from second and third. And he's hit safely at third as a run scores on the play. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation. And if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. And here's the first baseman, Connor Joe. Three fly outs already. He's 0 for 3. So RBI spot. But Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Runner from third comes across. Now a three-run game. It's 8-5. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. Chased it out of the zone. Oh, right. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. The Pirates trying to break this one open. Here in the top half of inning number seven. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Makes the grab on the run. And that is that. So it's two runs on four hits, no errors, and a couple left on. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Pirates. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh, so in now for Colorado. And Lowry's Montero. And that's off the inside edge. Ball one. Ball Just outside. missed. The pitch. 
that one in there across the letters. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. The pitch. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. And here it comes. Full count. Swings through Ooh. that, and it's a strikeout. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. That's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer for Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. And that one a little below the knees. One and one. The one one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. Out towards right center field, and it drops in. Clearly see the ball very well in this one. You know what they say, he couldn't have thrown it out there any better than that, and certainly the case that time. Just flared it back behind the second baseman and dropped it in there. On a line, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. So digging in, Nolan Jones. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. Cruz. Off balance beat. There's one. Over to first. Safe. Well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the bag. Now they have runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. High fly ball, right field. This could go the distance. That was blasted to the moon. His second home run of the game, it's 8-8. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boo. Aggressive, and it paid off. See, ever wonder what a 480-foot home run looks like? Well, here you go. Just absolutely amazing, Boo. I mean, StatCast tells the whole story right there clearly, but just so impressive in real time. But even more so when you got the data to back it up. A guy knows he crushed it, but when he sees the numbers, it's like, that's the ball. yeah, that's exactly what it felt like. Diaz stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Ball Up two. and in. Yeah, that's ball two. two ball. Herman, no maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, guys, they can come out, no feel strike. good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. But this clutch home run gets us even again. All even now at eight apiece. Back after this on the show. Ready to begin the eighth at the plate for Pittsburgh, Henry Davis. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect label over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. It gets down, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. No outs, runner at first. Now it's the second baseman, Nick Gonzalez. No, that's the ball. That just misses, one and ball. that's ball one. No
fouled off. He was late. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Fall off foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. The pitch. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. I really think the outer half is open. Yeah. Yeah. Right on here. Back to the top of the lineup. Keep Ryan Hayes, the next pirate to hit. And a little something extra at stake in this at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. And fouled off. Ball. And the pitch is outside. Ball one. Swing and a miss as he was late. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And another ball. Oh. Outside the corner, got him looking. He can't believe it. Well, oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeout. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now it's the right fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Swing and a miss, strike one. No ball, one strike. And the slider catches the zone. Just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last one, millisecond. Two. Just a tough pitch to hit, and not an easy one to throw either. Two outs. That one way inside. This guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Doesn't find the zone. Here goes the runner. 
Pitch is low. And safe. It's a stolen base. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang bang play. Statcast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Brendan Rodgers up next for the Rockies. A 3-1. 3-1, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted at first base with a quick three pass. First and second. No outs. Here's the second baseman, Brendan Rodgers. Go ahead, run at second. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Late swing, fouled off. No, Just missing the there. One and two to count. One ball, two strikes. And ball. another ball. Two balls, two strikes. Ball. And a swing and a miss. And that is a big first out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball that nicely and just bust him off on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. You know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. And the pitch. Now one we'll miss. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Line drive. Put the extra bases. Runner around third on his way to the plate. One runs in. A second scores as well. And they lead by two. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet. Knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. On the mound now for the Pirates, Jose Hernandez. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. That one back up the middle and it gets through. Around third. The throw in. He's safe. Stop due to the injury. Number three. One gone runner at first. Charlie Blackman digging in for the Rockies. And that one fouled off. A one down. Liner staked at first. To the bag himself. It's a double play. And that'll end the inning. So they get three and jump ahead late. Through eight full. It's the Rockies 11 and the Pirates 8. Give me everything you got. Stripping down in the Now into the ball game on defense. Brenton Doyle. He'll be patrolling center field. Number nine. Brenton Doyle. John Curtis into the game. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down the win. So this game has gone to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Here comes a pitch. Reynolds stands in now and watches strike one. Fouled off left side. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. 
He's two outs away. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, G1 Bay taking his first at bat of the game after entering on defense. Ball one. And that's outside. And that is ball one. The pitch. And a foul ball. Here's a 1-1. One -one. That one pushed foul. Base is empty, one away. You're at the top of the night. He deals. Push it. Bang and a miss. Struck him out. And they're down to their last out. Well, it's going to tell right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated. And it, this is going to go quickly. But you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. And that one is lifted in the air, and that'll fall for a base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. The first base is number two. Connor. And now the first baseman, Joe. Connor Joe. Joe. First pitch just misses. Righty delivers. Foul ball. The Pirates trailing by three here in the second game of the series. And another ball. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Curtis is just one strike away. Bows it back with two strikes. Two outs. Now a screamer into the outfield. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Rockies even this series up in a game of peace. Both so both teams come ready to swing it in this one, and they found a lot of success. A couple of touchdowns up on the board today. Pretty amazing. And it turned out to be a close one, considering all the runs put up really wild. And your final 11 8 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shami. Talk to you soon.